and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the much anticipated return of Gem Assembler. It's a deck that Twitch chat here uh, really likes, been wanting to see again. We did just play a lot of gem decks kind of in a row uh, there, like right after uh, Bastion was buffed. So it took a little bit of a break, but here we are, we're back. So what this deck is about is about two things. One, assembly bot. So we're going to have assembly bot whenever we cast a spell, grant it plus one, plus one, that's permanent. It's going to be an important card that we're going to want to play and play a whole bunch of spells and get it really large. And then whenever it's large, we can give it Sumpworks map, give it elusive and kill the opponent that way. So since we need a lot of spells, we're gonna be going with the gems. We're gonna have Mountain Goat in here. This is our first time playing Mountain Goat in this deck. We didn't have a two mana unit before, but now we can uh, have a nice Mountain Goat that can create some gems. Then we'll also have Mentor the Stones, be able to support Assembly Bot, or also, you know, die and then create gems. And then one Shards of the Mountain, that can just fill our hand with gems and, uh, you know, be a whole lot of spells. So if we're going to be playing a bunch of gems and um, then playing a whole bunch of spells with, you know, with the gems to grow assembly bots, what else could we do with that? Well, we could also give them puff cap. So we're, we're going to be playing um, puff cap peddler here with the assembly bot as well, where each gem that we cast, each spell that we cast, we'll be giving our opponent three puff caps. So, you know, if we play, you know, three gems here, we're giving them nine puff caps with one peddler. So we kind of have like a, a plan A with assembly bot and a plan B with puff cap peddler. Uh, maybe some sometimes we'll maybe have multiple peddlers and then you know cast a bunch of spells, give them a whole bunch of puff caps. Then we have Teemo in here, of course, to be doubling up those puff caps. So that's our plan B is like the puff cap. Plan A, like growing growing assembly bot. Also Vi, right? Like every time we're playing those spells, we're growing Vi really large. So Vi with Sumpworks map, also a good combo of killing them really quickly. So that, that's what our deck's about. We have some Zenith Blades. Be able to give assembly bot or vi overwhelm if the sumpworks map isn't enough and then also a couple j madardas for some card advantage where we can have this and then we can put a bunch of gems on j madarda in a uh, removal heavy matchup like where it's going to be a slow slower matchup if they're killing all, all of our stuff we can play j madarda play some gems on it each one of those draw cards that can get pretty silly with the card draw all right there's our deck this is gem assembler let's go play our five games over in ranked and let's see how we do with this uh, favorite. It's it's so satisfying to win by puff caps. Then also even like <laughs> assembly bot. That's pretty satisfying to win with that. So we're we're taking it over to master's rank, and we're gonna we're gonna try it out in master's rank, and let's see how we do. All right, nice giant monster games in here. Says that they've been grinding the deck a lot lately and loving it. Awesome. All right, this is going to be the, you know, it's going to be just the tough test. This is probably the best deck right now. Bilgewater, Noxus, Misfortune, and everything. This is going to be a tough test. I want to do things before turn four, so we're going to mulligan that hand. Um, so I guess we try to hit him with turn one Teemo and hope they can't kill my Teemo. And then I don't do anything turn two, then have Peddler on three. Another day in the field. If we did not have the attack token, I may not play the Teemo on turn one. Because something that I like to do is, like, if we have the attack token on turn two, I would wait and I'd play the Teemo on turn two. So then if they kill it on turn two, then we have Kill Cascade with the Nightfall enabled. Grow Teemo? This is maybe a trap. Maybe I should be going Peddler. This could be a trap. I'm one of the good guys, but not that. Slippery. Okay. Trap's working out. Buffed up Teemo. I don't like them having a spray fin. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Fresh out of mercy. 
Okay. So that block is obvious. We can block the spray fin, but if we block the spray fin, they're probably killing my Teemo. Because basically we can block the spray fin, play like Mushroom Cloud, and have Teemo level up and have Teemo at one health. Um, the good part about that is we save multiple life. Guess we just go to. Guess we just take it. Love ya. And I'll wait till after Puffcat Peddler before playing these mushroom clouds. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. Wonder is that supposed to change anything with the hush? Probably not. Make it more difficult to kill Teemo, with Teemo being a seven or a six-six. Play that right now because each puff cap that they draw does add up, so let's give them another eight. Yeah, Teemo should hit the Nexus from now, right? Unless, I mean, I guess unless they have like another spray fin, but then I could have Hush for next turn. Letting them block that time. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Me going down to five. I could block with Mentor the Stones and Hush. Maybe I'd, I guess I just have to do that, don't I? I gotta use Hush here. We gotta save that life. So, if they have another spray fin, they get to block. That's just the way it is. If I play Chump Womp, yeah, we can play Chump Womp. Like got 30 puff caps right now. Gotta go with the no, they do have another spray fin. That's not good. Zenith Blade? Okay. So they're at 11. We do a good amount of damage to them. Slippery. By just attacking. Definitely assume they're going to be blocking the peddler. Then I have like double pale cascade. Okay, so if I go double pill cascade, that puts them down to two. And it gives them another six puff caps. But I'm down to six. Are they gonna be killing me from six? Then I won't have the mana for guiding touch. It's not that likely that they're killing me from six, but it's possible. So I'm playing one of these two cards. I'm playing either Pale Cascade or Guiding Touch. I think my best chance of winning is probably... Well... Yeah, I think this is, this is the way to go. Because I, I don't think I get another turn. 
because I think that between burn spells for this turn and next turn, they're going to kill me. So I think that I kind of have to kill them here. I think this is my, my best chance of winning is killing them right here of, like, their next draw step. So if if they have six damage with seven mana... So like, okay, so, like, if I played the Guiding Touch and played a little bit safer, I'll have eight life. But then they're going to have... They're going to have four life. And I don't feel like... Like, I don't think they're going to draw four puff caps. So then I think they're going to have a, a whole nother turn to do that extra damage to me. No. Wow. Okay. Well, I like that. That was a lot of damage that would have been going upstairs. That's not anymore. So... Didn't kill them. Yeah, they would have died. Um, I guess Peddler, you can block. Wow, what a draw with that hush. What a mushroom help. What a draw with that hush. My pretty. Okay, so now this game's not over over, right? Because it's, it's very easy to kill Teemo. Like, if I just go to attacks here, it's very easy for them to kill Teemo. So the question is, is do I play, you know, like, Vi, like, Bench of the Stones Vi? Do I play these before combat? I don't know. I guess so. Could be better. Yeah, I'm, I'm obviously regretting leading with Mentor right now. So how do I clean this up after leading with Mentor? Still just Vi. I want to play Jade Medarda, but I guess it's just Vi. So like if I if I would have just played the mushroom cloud into that trade, I would have gave them eight more puff caps. So I messed this game up in a couple of places. What are they doing? They just. What are they doing? We got that. <sighs> wow. Puff caps. Saving the day. That was crazy. All right, I don't know. Both these, let's see. Both these are gems. Play them, keep the mentor of the stones. So if they're, if they're gonna have like Zed, Something we're going to need, like, a blocker. Mention the Stones can be a blocker for us. The Shards of the Mountain's awesome, but not until super late. And, uh, you know, I wanted to find something to do a little earlier, but... A little luck for those who need it. I <laughs> need to make a misplays of the week video. Yeah, I, I could definitely have some of those. Correct. At Master's Rank, that just shows you how much LP you have. Not your rank. There is a leaderboard we can go check your rank, but um, yeah, so the more LP, the better. So the bigger number in Masters, the better. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. 
They say these were from the protector himself. Alright, gonna lead with uh, assembly bot. Get this thing in play. So we can. Gem will turn it into a 4 3? No. 3 2. 3 2. They don't get Equinox. Uh, I really hope they don't get Equinox. Okay, good. Not Equinox. Well, there was a little fella asking for me. Mystical levitation requires concentration. No. I've always been a fun guy. So I'll turn assembly bot into a four four. Half hush, I'm in trouble. It's just how it is. Okay, good. No hush. No hush is definitely good. And I'm gonna enter. I'm gonna see if we can play this other peddler first before we start casting all these gems. Okay. Just gonna take this. Well, I guess I blocked this thing. Yeah. So they go Pale Cascade. Clear your head. Let your instincts speak. Keeps them from getting all those gems that the Men to the Stones does. I think that's supposed to get. Alright, so we can gem now or wait. Uh, gemming now will give them 18 puff caps. Let's gem now. Because, of course, giving them as many puff caps as early as possible is good before, you know, b before they draw more cards. So the earlier the better with those. And then we'll go Zenith Blade on the Assembly Bot. Again, just hope they don't have Hush. As long as they don't have Hush, we are going to be good. I can what is can go with like some bash, you know, some pre preemptive Bastions. Zenith Blade, unfortunately, was the only card in the entire deck that I really couldn't draw this turn. <laughs> right. Okay, well, never mind. I guess drawing Zenith Blade was, was just fine. Your head. Let your yeah, draw those cards. These jewels are more than your trinkets. So, I only have two Zenith Blades in the deck. I don't have to worry about the Daybreak not getting another one. Yes, no hush. 
mean, that'd be like, you know, that'd just be game over, basically, if they had Hush. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh my gosh, Shards of the Mountain. Let's go. Shards of the Mountain. These gems grant a wearer common. Okay. Let's just block here. Block one of these things. Dang, this put me down to two. Ugh. Why am I not blocking that? There we go. Block that. Put me down to three. Would a mushroom help? I don't know if I need to worry about being at three or not. Like if I if I should be risking, you know, yeah, like this, but you know, being at three, just like one bash in one pale cascade, and I'm dead. So unfortunately, I don't get the two Pupcat Peddlers anymore. But this is gonna be sweet. No, opponent! We're gonna play so many gems. All right, playing against the burn deck again. Yeah, I think we got a mulligan pie. Okay, not the worst. I like having that mountain goat. Yeah, this text up on Mobilitics, yep. There, it's uh, also right here. You can find the exact deck list, exclamation point deck. Good aggressive hand. Um, it. Triple one drop. It's really good. Have a mushroom. Have three. I have my orders. Quadruple one drop. Run away, bike. Good draw. Keep up, keep up. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. Through the coral. Everything's in place. Block. In position. Block. Ooh. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. <laughs> Down to eight already. <laughs> Turn four. And we played, you know, two, three, four. Played something to block. Guess I'm going Mench at the Stones. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. Maybe I should be casting one gem, a gem on one of these first. You don't need to do that, you know. You make corpses of like one of them. You don't make, have to make corpses of all of them. Might as well just play both Guiding Touches now. So next turn, yeah, might as well just play them both now. The reason why I'm playing them now is because of getting them more Pup Caps before their next draw. 
Oh, I mean, oh, I guess play one now, right? I have three mana. That just gives them some more, some more puff caps for the next draw. All right, so not playing the Teemo to have the seven mana, so I can have Hush, Pale Cascade, and Guiding Touch. What a mushroom help. Um, so now it's either Hush. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's it's definitely like the the correct play is definitely hush. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Yeah, it's definitely the correct play. All right, they're at six. Got them twenty four puff cap so far. Gotta go with the oh no! Same thing that happened last time against them. They just ha keep on having like that extra, you know, that second sp that second spray fin blocking my Teemo. Stop! Stop blocking Teemo. So I could go Teemo Zenith Blade. That could be cool. Alright, Teemo Zenith Blade. Fortune favors the bold. It's like I guess so. What is this? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Match of the stones down. So it's kind of the bad part about them drawing the three puff caps right there is it did reduce their number of puff caps to double. So we'll put them down to four, double it up to 38. So 28 and 38. Not likely that they're drawing four puff caps. Not likely at all. Dang, they have six damage on me. So they have exact lethal. Unless we draw our one last guiding touch. Nope. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have gone with the Zenith Blade, I guess. I guess I should have gone Mountain Goat. I guess I need to go Mountain Goat. Love ya. I'll be damned. That was pretty nice for them having, you know, with their six mana, having Make It Rain, Make It Rain, and then also the two one drops right afterwards. That was really good for them. And the same deck. Definitely the most popular deck right now. Should build an anti-burn deck. Not sure what the plan's gonna be yet. It's gonna involve assembly bot. I have my orders. It's gonna involve assembly bot. Everything's in place. Boom. Really glad they didn't play the Legion Grenadier first. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Yeah, I play Gangplank Thresh Control, but it loses to Lee. Cover me, crack shot. You Does anybody play Lee? You. Anymore? I guess we did I guess we did just play against the Lee Sin deck. Keep 
suffering till they're dead on the ground. My kind of plan. Inquisition. I kind of think like Shadow Isles with Targon, right? With all like the the Nexus healing and Targon, and the Nexus healing and Shadow Isles, putting those together. to start challenging these things and taking them down like with that. Down to four. best chance of us winning this game right now. Damn it. Not the best chance. What would be the other champion we would play if we played Targon? Victory Shadow Isles. Would it be Leona? Yeah. So do I need to hush the Legion Grenadier to save one life? Probably. It's uh, let's get I guess if they have spray I guess if they have spray fit I'm just dead anyway, so yes, probably. So yeah, three and not two. Run while you can. So yeah, if they, if they have spray fit, I'm just gonna be dead. Yeah, decimate, I'm dead. But I think, you know, I was going to be able to probably kill them with the assembly bot this next turn. If, if they just don't have the card to kill me there. I'll let you off easy this time. I have to make that video tomorrow. Alright, Lee Sin Karma. We'll take this matchup. Uh, let's see. I could keep Chump Wump. I like Chump Wump. I'm gonna just mulligan though. I'm gonna just mulligan and, and uh, see what else we get. Okay. So Targon Ionia, not too worried about removal for Teemo. We get to just play Teemo right away on turn one. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. Ooh, getting rid of Spirit's Refuge. Ooh, that's new. I like that. that. That helps out my puff caps, right? Because Spirit's Refuge is, is good at stopping puff caps. Slippery. I'm sure their deck has plenty of hush, and I hope they never draw it. If they do draw hush, it has 20 puff caps on it. Yeah, I could have just got the zero mana serpent. That would be sad. All right, so we got another elusive. I'm scared. I'm scared of Pell Cascade. I know I could block with Assembly Bot and go Guiding Touch, but that thing's just a one-one. I'm scared of Pell Cascade. Plus, I'd rather have my other Assembly Bot in play uh, first before we start playing uh, spells. Master yourself. Master mm. your enemy. That is the worst. That's the it's the only card in their deck that I'm scared of is Lee Sin. Really not scared of the rest of, the, of like this kind of deck. Like Karma, I'm not scared of at all. Lee Sin, and that card's a problem. Our enemies can. And then they had a second Lee Sin there with Lee Sin Sonic Wave. I'll see this through. My lands need center your spirit. Prepare yourself. I 
fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. What is gained when we return malevolence? Hmm. What do you all think the chances are of, of challenging Lee Sin here and them not having two burst speed spells to play? What are the chances of that working out? Move it. Hit him where it freaks. Slim. That's what I think too. Probably very slim. But going to try. I will not hold back. Conflict is all in the mind. Yep, very slim. Get back here. I guess I should have drawn and seen if we would have drawn Hush. I think still has a spell shield, but yeah, I should have drawn to see if we would draw Hush. Yeah, I think it's I think it's just kind of the one card that, that defeats us. You know, like we played against Lee Sin deck earlier. They did not have any. Um, yeah, they did not draw Lee Sin, and we won fairly easily. And and so like this is kind of the same way. All right, would not have been Hush. Certainly hope they can't play another three spells and level up Lee Sin. That'd be a big problem for me. If they could do that. Strike firm. Center your skill. With them having seven mana, I can't even stop like hush. Conflict is all in the mind. Like a, a bastion when I stop to hush. Oh, that's a harvest right there. I was worried about. We send. What is we need to draw Hush again. This thing's just a 7 1 right now. Don't really see this working out too well for me. Basically, I just need to try to get. Conflict is all in the mind. Never mind. I need to try to get as much damage as I could in and then hope, you know, just hope for a miracle. But... Darn. Alright, well, there's our Gem Assembler deck. Lost a couple of times to the the really good burn deck with Misfortune and Gangplank. No, no real shame in that. I, I mean. <laughs> Look at like these cards that we're playing. We're playing a bunch of three mana one ones and stuff. Like that's gonna be really tough. And so you know we lost twice to that, and then we lost once to to Lee Sin. Um, Lee Sin also, uh, we kind of only have Hush to answer Lee Sin and did not draw Hush. Um, 
So I, I really think like those are probably the two most problematic things in the entire format for our deck, which are of course like you know probably the two most popular things. But as as long as the Lee Sin deck just doesn't draw Lee Sin, the rest nothing else in the deck is scary whatsoever for us. But the the Misfortune Gangplank deck is just ruthless, and uh, we don't really have time to do these things. Um, honestly, I, I think, like, you know, another big part of the metagame, of course, is Trundle. I really like playing against Trundle with this. But even other decks like Scouts or other things like that I think would be fine. It's just, you know, the direct Nexus damage that uh, that, that uh, Misfortune deck does. Um, so the, slower the, the slower the games go, the longer the games go, the better for our deck. Because Puff Caps, you want to play really long games whenever you're giving them Puff Caps because you want them to have more draws with puff caps so you like playing against long games with a puff cap deck but so like those really fast games like lee sin that's the thing lee sin just ends the game super fast with with that deck um and then same of course the, the misfortune so like that's that's why those cards are, are a problem for us is because they they end games very very quickly and if if that's happening um that's that's our biggest weakness is the fast the faster the game the worse for us the longer the game the better all right um but that's it here with gem assembler those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well i'd appreciate that but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video